I'm Chris. I've just finished doing my undergraduate degree at Cambridge in Hebrew. I was at Jesus College. And so you're catching me right now, just before I get my results. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. But I thought I would just do this um, video to show what my experience was like at Cambridge, how I found the Hebrew course. Before we carry on with the interview, I thought it'd be good to give you a little sense of what Hebrew sounds and looks like with a poem that I studied in my final year. Lo ha'yita lecha shum zechut kiyum beladav v'gam lehefech madu akamtem yish halachiv leatzcheni nefesh I came to study Hebrew through a strange route. I applied for Arabic and I, when I arrived at Cambridge I thought that was what I was going to do. But in the first week the opportunity came up to study Hebrew alongside Arabic. So I jumped at that opportunity and I'm really glad that I did. In fact, I eventually dropped Arabic and started studying Hebrew solely. Um, the opportunities in the Hebrew department are amazing because it's such a small department you get to really tailor your education to what you're interested in and the things that you want to explore and there's a lot of attention on you as a student which is uh, challenging of course but also really fulfilling. Hebrew is a fascinating subject there's obviously a long history to it dating back thousands of years but even in the modern era there's a kind of a unique little culture that's developed from the handful of Hebrew speakers that grew and grew and grew and so now you've got some amazing literature, poetry which is what I've ended up studying particularly um, and also a history of how culture is shaped and emerges and how a people forms itself in, uh, in the modern world. At Cambridge you also have the advantage of being surrounded by top academics who are really passionate about learning and researching which is an exciting environment to be in as a student because you're studying under people who are really pushing the boundaries of the fields in which they work. Obviously a big part of the Hebrew course and any language course is the year abroad. It's a really exciting year where you get to go away to the country of your target language and spend an entire year trying any and every method to get better at your language. Um, so I spent most of my year in Haifa, which is a city in the north of Israel. It's a mixed city, so that means there's lots of Jews, but there are also Arabs who were there before the creation of the State of Israel. Um, and it's just a fascinating, it was a fascinating place to live, really exciting to meet new people and try and get better at Hebrew. So, you know, when I came to Haifa I was pretty rubbish and by the end of the year through just sheer determination and trying lots of different things and exploring different avenues I got a lot better. So the second half of the year I was living with a guy who only spoke Hebrew so that obviously was really challenging but also pushed me to get better. I spent a month in Jerusalem as well studying at the university there um, I lived about 10 minutes walk from the old city, right in the centre of Jerusalem, really in amongst the immense history that's there. And that's one of the great things about the year abroad as well, is you have the freedom and the opportunity to really dive into something that's completely not what you've grown up in. If you're inquisitive about the world and curious about the things around you, then university gives you a fantastic opportunity with all the resources, people and things around you to explore those things that you're curious about, to learn more about the world and to discover more about yourself and develop yourself. 